morning Capricorn I don't actually think it's morning anymore but happy time of day wherever you are this is a Capricorn reading for Aquarius season and so you're probably like oh my god thank you thank you it's like the whole solar system almost has been in Capricorn for like a year yeah okay maybe not a full year well Saturn Pluto the Sun moved into Capricorn I think Mercury is just moving out of Capricorn the south node check check your cancer too where cancer is in your chart because Man, there's a lot happening for y'all. I mean, for us as a collective, that y'all are, y'all are like, you know, you're like sitting in the singing bowl. And Saturn and Pluto and Jupiter and everybody's just like, ding, 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 ding. And you're like, oh. So it's gonna be nice to get into some of this air energy where it can just be like, you know. Instead of like anchoring it into Capricorn Earth energy, it's finally like reverberating, which is what we need. We need it to reverberate. We're moving into revolution. We need everybody to get on the same page. Yeah. Wow, Capricorns, yeah. We're gonna have a lot. Yeah. Emperor. You know, that can also feel like a Capricorn energy. Like, that's my mom. My mom's a Capricorn son. This is my mom. Totally my mom. That's how y'all might be in this energy right now. You're just like, oh my God. Woo, wow, Capricorn. Look at that. You got the emperor and then the crone. That's my grandma right there. Yeah, y'all got it. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens. Ooh, this card is like... Okay. Hey. You're in the singing bowl. Perspective is important. If you frame your headspace like the universe is just pounding me right now because I'm about to get a huge initiation and I'm about to like set the world on fire in, in a good way. Or you could be internalizing all these changes that are happening for you right now and just being like, oh my God, I cannot take another minute of this. Pray about it. Seriously. Pray about it. These two right here, pray about it. On either side of mental anguish, you basically got pray about it. Whatever type of prayer, pule, whatever type of prayer or meditation practice you have, getting clear in your head, talking with, you know, higher, your higher selves, your spirit guides, your ancestors. Man, I check in with my ancestors all the time. I keep my ancestors wrapped around me. I mean, I call in archangels. I call in goddess energy. I am surrounded in so much light all the time. Yeah. Bring it in. Call it in. This in particular for Capricorn, yeah, with all that earth energy, and be really careful with this suggestion right here, but with all this earth energy going on, a crystal bath, a crystal flower bath would be so great for y'all right now. You have no idea. But be careful that you don't put in too much water. Um, and I've learned this. If you're giving yourself an energy bath, Be prepared. Set up a safety protocol because water is incredibly powerful. And if you're adding crystals or other things with it, you could be in the bathtub moving energy, lose consciousness, and drown yourself. Don't. Set your water. If you're specifically doing energy work, if you're just going to lay in the bath and chill, then you're okay. You know, you're not going to be doing anything. You'll be fine. If you're getting in the bathtub specifically because the water amplifies everything, yeah, eight of wands, get focused. If you're getting in the bath specifically, or the ocean, or anywhere, specifically to do energy work, be really careful 
I mean, I have almost killed myself moving so much energy that I lose consciousness. I mean, I learned to open channels. After that happened, I lost consciousness. I was moving energy up. And the moment it got to my throat chakra, I was like, wow, I'm really moving it up. I lost consciousness, smashed my head, woke up. I don't even know how long later. After that, I spent the day before I'd been doing it on a cliff in Hawaii. I could have fallen off a cliff. So after that experience, I only grounded my energy for over a year. I mean, I grounded till I anchored. And then when I anchored, I grounded, I kept grounding for over a year before I ever moved energy back up. And then finally, when I moved energy back up, you can erupt a volcano. It's no joke. Okay, Capricorn. All this mental anguish. I mean, it's not... It can feel hard, too. I mean, I've been through some awakenings, and the energy is just like... And you're, it's like a diamond. You're like becoming a diamond. The pressure turns you into a diamond. Yeah, I was like, that top card is like screaming. Okay, Eight of Wands, you're going to focus on it. You'll Shaman Swords, right here with the Three of Swords. Be careful for triangle energy communicating. I mean, this can also be a fun time, but it can also be like, um, I mean, they're having, they're kind of having fun, but they're, they can also be really dangerous. So be careful here. Priestess of discs, and then you move into the magician. So this mental anguish, this anguish that's coming up for you. You work through it very well. You communicate in your power. You ground in the 3D in your craft. You see here? She's like this um, Eight of Wands. It's like she gets her, her arrow ready. I mean, you know, she had all these attempts. Gets that arrow And then there you go, manifest. Make it happen. Capricorn. Man, yeah, y'all are about to reclaim. Oh, yeah. You're all about to break through and reclaim. This is a reclamation. I love it. Man, Capricorns. Thanks for doing all the hard work right now. Y'all are doing hard, hard work. Thank you. Happy Aquarius season. I hope it lightens up for you. Venus has moved into Pisces, so let's hope everybody lightens. Take care.